What is up, Need for Speed Racers? It is I, your wheel man, Alex Cornut, and I'm here today with Copium Series Week 3. We are running the WRX STI on the Boomdocks Rumble playlist. It is the first race on that playlist. It is A class. You guys can build this car any way you want. As long as you're using the WRX STI hatchback, you're good. For those of you guys that maybe don't know, Copium Series is my own personal racing league that I've put together. It is just week to week. Each week is its own thing, so you don't have to have ever participated before, and you can jump right in with us. It is designed for new players all the way up to the world record setters, and I've got them all. Last week, we had 105 participants, and we're gaining momentum. That was more than the week prior, which was 88. So honestly, guys, it is the biggest series in Need for Speed Unbound right now, and there's no reason for you guys not to participate. If you play the game at all, it's really, really easy to submit your time. All you need to do is screenshot at the end. That screenshot just has to contain your name, the car, what race it was, and your time. So that's it. Take a shot, you know, screenshot with your phone, just take a picture or screenshot on your console, whatever, computer, you name it. Any way that you can get that data to me, we'll get you in. I had a lot of people run last week that we had like potato quality photos that were all sideways and stuff and we still like got in there with our <laughs> zoomed in lens and put in those times. So any way that you can get it to me, we'll do it. If you're not a member of the Discord, you can also email it to me as well. My email, alexcornut at gmail.com, pretty straightforward. So either way, email, uh, Discord, whatever you can do, just get it to me, we'll get you in. It ends next Saturday at 8 p.m. So you got a week to bang this out. It is going to be a blast. Really, guys, participation is what makes this as successful as it is. And so the more the merrier. And I really want you to participate. If you're watching this right now and you play Need for Speed Unbound, grab yourself the WRX, build it, and just come and have fun with us. The build I'm about to show you is a banger, and I've got Slide QT's version that he uses for drift, and then our version that we're using for grip. And this week, I'm gonna run manual, you guys. Last week, I ran auto, and I, uh, I was struggling. So I'm gonna go back to manual. The livery that I've got on this car is pretty sweet. One of the guys cooked this up last night. So it's Cornut Crew, Copium right there on the side. Super talented from Polly. I love that. And I've actually got a few others. Uh, our buddy Frank, he did this one. There's uh, a two or three more floating around that are Corn Nut Crew Copium Series livery specifically for this car. So when you go in, you guys just check out the community page and just see what's out there under the most recent. Dude, right there, there's another one that just popped up. I don't even have this one in the library yet. And so uh, Flappercus put that one out there. So, like, that's what I'm trying to show you guys. Like, we are out here, we are rolling deep. And here's another one, Corn Nut Crew. Jeffrey got that one. So it's, if you want a Copium Series livery on your car, there's a couple different ones to pick that the guys are cooking up. If you like to do liveries, do it yourself. I mean, we're, we're more than happy to have it. I just like to see that we've got a lot of different liveries. that got Corn Nut on the side. Let's go, that's dope. <laughs> I love that. Let's dig into the build for the Boom Docks. For the engine that I am running for my build, I'm using the 3.0 liter inline six. Me and Nil cooked this up together. Uh, I definitely think it's the way to go. There's some other builds that have maybe a little higher top speed, but really you never hit it on this track. And so you wanna go with that torque and that's why we went with this one. So it is the second motor over. It is the 3.0 liter i6, 335 brake horsepower when we start. For the parts, you're gonna run gold super induction. Sport Bronze ECU, Sport Bronze Fuel System, Sport Bronze Exhaust, and Elite Platinum Screw Supercharger. We went with the screw to get you all of the torque so that way you can hook out of those corners. Sport Bronze Nitrous, Elite Platinum Off-Road Suspension, specifically the off-road. Guys, there's long straightaways on this track that appear to be tarmac. They're not, that is full off-road. Uh, there's only like two small paths that are actually like road conditions. Everything else is off-road. When we were first digging into this track and setting our times, we were doing some testing on that. And you'll notice if you put on regular tires, like regular suspension, like a grip setup would be, and then you drive that, your controller will be vibrating the whole time. And so that's kind of an indicator to tell you that it is off-road. So 
if you want to experiment with stuff, do it, you guys. Go try anything you want. Go have fun with it. But it is a full off-road track, so we are going full off-road build for it for sure. The brakes are sport bronze, and then we're doing elite platinum off-road tires. Sport bronze clutch and the sport bronze five-speed transmission. Elite platinum diff. That way we can slide that slider as far to the left as possible and right for slides and then your auxiliaries i run nitrous drift and nitrous grip that all being said you guys if there was ever a track that i would like put people in nitrous jump this would be it there is a lot of airtime on this track so keep that in mind when you're running if you're not really doing a lot of micro drifts you might swap one of those out and try that because i think that's going to help you build that boost since I'm here talking about the auxiliaries, kind of pay attention here, you guys. There's a pretty strong tip I want to give you. The auxiliaries in the game are bugged. You've heard me talk about that before, meaning that when you go onto a server, like you load in and it puts you in with the other 16 players or however many, you need to go into the garage. You need to select a, any part on the motor and just change it to something else and then switch it back. And then that, basically the game registers all the parts that are available, including the auxiliaries. For safety, I always go, and I think I'm overkill with this, but I will grab a different auxiliary and then go back and equip the one that I actually want. What that does is it sets your auxiliaries for that car. So now you're actually gonna get the bonuses from drift and grip that I have, or jump, whatever. If you change cars while you are online in that server, your auxiliaries are no longer active. So you, you might as well be playing with nothing, no auxiliaries equipped at all. When you're trying to set times in a time attack mode, which is what we're doing here in Copium series, you really do want to have those auxiliaries. They're going to help you a bunch. Here's the little deal, you guys. This is a mixed tier playlist. At the end of that race, if you finish, it's going to put you right into another race where you have to change a car, change cars before you can switch out of that. So it's going to, Unequip your auxiliaries. You got to go back to the safe house, select your car again, equip it, and then re-equip the auxiliaries. It's bugged. I hate that part. It sucks. I wish they would have fixed it, but they haven't. So this is how we're doing it. I would recommend strongly that if you're trying to just get as many races on the boom docks as possible, that you run the race, do both laps, and then as you're coming down the final straightaway, if you know your pace, if you know, like if you're going to set your best time, finish, get that time. But if you know you're off pace or you're still just learning the track and you're wanting to get some more shots at it before you do set a time, I would encourage you to maybe leave that playlist before finishing so that way your auxiliaries don't get reset. That's gonna allow you to keep your auxiliaries equipped and then get another shot at it before you have to go back to the safe house. And so I don't want you guys quitting out like in the first lap or if you get crashed or whatever, like it's really good to practice. I mean, just, just run it through. So even if you get messed up, still keep running it and keep practicing those corners and whatnot. Um, that happened last week in Copium. In the first corner, somebody get tapped and then they reset. And it's like, really, guys, run out most of the race so you can practice the entire track as much as you can. And so that way, when you are on a run, when you are on a good time, when you get that first few corners perfect, you've already got the experience of the rest of the track. So that way you can maximize. And that's good time attack practice. Once you've got the track memorized and you know every corner perfect, I understand quitting out in the first few, but whatever. That's just kind of where I'm at on this. You guys do whatever feels good to you. That's a long-winded explanation, but I want you guys to fully understand how the ox is working here and how I would best recommend to get the most out of the situation. For the handling, you're going to slide that slider all the way to the left, 80% grip for this build. Steering sensitivity, I run two clicks high. I might find myself bumping that up a little bit in this car. It just depends on handles after I get in there and actually start running some runs. Downforce, run it all the way high. That is like the last two clicks is A209. Everything else is 210, which is A+. plus. So last two clicks for this one. Traction control is off. I have drift entry is brake tap. That's the grip build. Now slide, he's already developed what he's doing for drift. And basically what he's doing here is you're going to go silver pro induction silver pro exhaust and then you take your handling slider and you slide it all the way to the right that is a 209 it's 40 percent drift he does gas tap for him uh, you guys do whatever you're set up for 
and it's just those two silver parts plus everything else stays the same so it's pretty much the same build it's just with drift you get a couple more pi points and so this one's got a little more horsepower but it's a very different style of driving so anyway go with what you feel guys that is the build that is what we're doing out here on the corn nut crew i'm setting this back to normal for me because i'm about to go run some times today and let's go have some fun i would strongly encourage you guys to get a time and set it submit it so that way if life gets in the way later this week you've still got your time in i know i had some late bloomers last night submitting after the time ronan and so guys get it in early it's supposed to be fun we're out here having a blast we're not looking for record setters don't get me wrong i'm happy to have those guys there and they know who they are and they're they're fast but this is really designed for the new players and that's who i want to attract so if you've never ever run a time you've never taken a screenshot if you've never really tried to improve on a track come and get in with us i mean my splits are so tight look at yesterday's results video i've got guys that are finishing eight people deep within six tenths of a second of each other and that's just due to the mass amount of people that participate and it just gets those splits really really close it's all about having fun here and I'm thankful for you guys. The Corn Nut Crew is what makes this possible. And anybody who's participating in this is one of the crew as far as I'm concerned. So hook up. Let's have some fun. You guys have a great rest of your day. And we'll see you on the Boom Docks. Bye-bye.